Brenda, can you take us through the poll results, please? I can, of course, JB. So first up, we asked if people had a deal registration program. And is that coming through there? It is indeed, yep. Yep. So a whopping 86% of attendees have a deal registration and another 8%, while they don't have it at the moment, they are planning to introduce one shortly. And for the 6% who don't, hopefully uh, this uh, webinar has convinced you to set one up for your partners. So we'll just pop to the next one now. Sorry, my system is a little bit slow here in displaying the results. So here we were asking, is your deal registration program um, one program for all partners? And 56% of attendees said that, 19% one program but limited to a select group of partners, 16% offer several programs to suit different partners, and 10% this time didn't have a deal registration program. So any kind of comments on that from the panel? Yeah, I think Brenda, I'll give a quick view. That that doesn't surprise me to be quite honest, Brenda. You know that a lot of people do go with that single program, and part of that is driven by what we talked about earlier. That people don't have automation systems. It's maybe spreadsheet based. It's human as well to some extent, or they want to keep it just very unified. But those are pretty reflective of what I would see in the in the market. Okay, thanks, John close that one out and then the next one was whether you offer standalone or a, or if you combine deal with with other programs so here you can see 39 percent are standalone 29 percent combine deal right with an incentive program 21 percent combine it with a number of other programs and 11 percent don't have a deal registration program so was that kind of what you were thinking it would be john yeah, not surprised by that at all. Like we even heard from this panel, you know, as well, that uh, incentives are in there. There's other types of programs, Brenda. We would certainly see that uh, more and more, uh, particularly SPIF programs tied into DealRidge. Okay, great. And then the final poll was just in relation to KPIs. So. And hopefully that's starting to come through there, you know. Um, so 29% measure it on the number of deal registrations submitted, 25% measure it on the revenue value of closed deal reg, 20% uh, 20 20 this time don't have a deal reg program, 17% measure it on net new logos and 9% on the number of closed one deal registrations per quarter per year. Yeah, and I think okay. that's again reflective of what we covered, Brenda. Probably, I, I was just thinking there, the question um, if, probably should have been one that we went for multiple choice. I suspect people are doing a mixture of all of that. So that's something we can take away. But I think no surprises, Brenda, with that one either. Okay, thanks, John.